and it just gives you the ability to pull up to some place that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps away from an edge of something like this. Worth it. Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Cam Shack Productions. Today, I'm going to show you how I take my Xterra and turn it into a no build camper that I can take to amazing places just like this. If you have an SUV or an Xterra, you can pretty much copy anything I've done here so you can enjoy views and locations similar to what you see here. And it's really nice because it can also still be your daily driver. So if you'd like to see some cost effective ways to riz up your rig, stick around. If you've ever thought to yourself, I'd like to have coffee there, or I could see myself really relaxing at that viewpoint, then this is definitely the video for you. Stick around for some great tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have done a lot of work recently on this thing, and I think it has definitely paid off. Being in the back of this thing, spending a little time here in front of the wedge, I'm really enjoying the fact that I have so much more organization. Everything seems to fit a little bit better, and overall, it's just really comfortable. Um, the, the molly panels that I added, the seat back molly panel and the custom molly panel, outstanding. And again, I'm really trying to lighten my load when it comes to this stuff. I'm trying to use a small table, one chair, uh, and not bring the entire kitchen sink. My garbage bag chair very simple table give you a little rundown on the xterra so this is my little chip bag slash snacks and then i keep my camera gear this is my camera bag and down here i have the drone and some tripods and just some extra gear. And this is my sleep system. So you can see that the seat and the action packer connect together. And then I have a, a Walmart fad, a two inch foam pad, some blankets. I also have a thermos, but the key to this whole thing is again how this eight gallon action packer connects to the seat. All right. Now, in the back, you can see I can just lay down, sleep comfortably. I have some extra, uh, that's an undercoat for my hammock and an additional sleeping bag um, and then I keep my action packer this one is full of nothing but food um, and then this one is just all of my kitchen and camping supplies uh, and then I've talked about my water sprayer before really crucial but the new add of the molly panel really helps a lot um, and this molly panel is solid. So, this is my thrift store backpack that I bought for $2 and turned into my own trash bag. I keep my chair. Um, and then I just have a small cooler for this trip because, again, don't need too much, right? Uh, and then I use a duffel bag. Um, I find that it's just much easier to get in and out rather than a backpack to find all your clothes. Um, and then down here I have my bug netting, shoes, camelback, uh, my power bank is also in there, and I keep a giant old jump starter as well. Um, and then the front seat Oh, sorry about all the light, guys. On the driver's side is just some clothes that I have right now. Yes, I wrap all my shirts in plastic before I come to the desert. Um, I have my new lantern, which I'll be talking about. But I think the key to this whole thing is just the fact that my front seats 
are wide open um, and it just provides an epic spot to see stuff like this. So nice. Next things I'm going to be adding are uh, some rear shocks. My rear shocks are really bad. I also need new front shocks. Uh, I'm probably going to do upper and lower control arms. And I think I'm going to put in a little bit beefier leaf spring to make this thing just a little bit taller and a little bit more able to carry some heavy weight. So overall, that's the rundown. Oh yeah, I also have all my recovery gear up there, but that's the rundown. And again, the trick to this whole thing is that action packer, man. It's crucial. It'll keep it going for you. Um, and it makes it so you can lay completely flat. I mean, look at that. They just connect. It's like they were meant to be there. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, y'all. So that is my Xterra overlanding rig in a nutshell. Um, again, I do plan on upgrading a bunch of the suspension components, including lower and upper control arms, new front rear shocks, some springs. And I do think I am going to put probably about a two inch lift on this. Um, once I have that, uh, those, those springs, I'm going to be able to put a little more weight in the back. Um, I have been thinking about a new bumper for this thing, uh, and there's also talk of potentially thinking about a rooftop tent, just so that it clears up a little space for us, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm not sure I'm sold on that, and I'm also not sure how well they actually do on some of these racks. So y'all, um, overall, the Xterra is a great overlanding vehicle. I hope this gave you some tips, some things that you might wanna do. Um, and for those of you that have seen the rig, uh, thanks for coming back and seeing the updates. Again, the main goal is just to try to drop some of the stuff that I uh, kind of carry around with me over and over again and uh, try to make this thing light, efficient, and super comfortable to sleep in, sleep out of. Uh, I got some more really cool trips coming up. Uh, I'm definitely going to be going and driving some really long roads and I have some interesting sleep system ideas in mind so y'all I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go down leave a like if you're feeling really generous subscribe otherwise I will see you all back in the next video all right be well my friends yeah Xterra not a bad way to have your uh overlanding it works it works good I like it I like it a lot let you get to all kinds of cool places and just pull into the back and sleep not bad.